Welcome back to PowerPoint Training Online. Today, we're going to look at one of the few features which was introduced into PowerPoint 2016 whenever it was first released, and that is Dine IDs. Welcome back to PowerPoint Training Online. Today, we're going to look at one of the few features which was introduced into PowerPoint 2016 whenever it was first released, and that is Design, or Design IDs. Now, this is a life saver, time saver, not only a life saver, it's a time saver. PowerPoint, delete the last bit. Okay, so Design View or Design Ideas is a great tool which Microsoft have introduced to help you speed up creating your presentation. Now usually when I create a presentation, and if I just say insert a title here, so let's say welcome, and then I drag across two pictures. So I've got these two already selected. So let's bring these down to PowerPoint, insert them into the presentation. And you'll notice on the right hand side popping up is the design ideas toolbar. And PowerPoint is now doing is giving me suggestions as to how I should possibly lay out my presentation, how I can set it up so that it looks more appealing. Multiple suggestions here. Again, each one is different. And the beauty of Microsoft PowerPoint with Design Ideas is that it works around your team. So at the moment, I'm just using a blank team. If I were to set, change it, let's say this one here, it now generates a whole list of new ideas based on that team. And you can see again, all the slides are different. It changes the font, it changes, it gives you underlines, it puts pictures in frames, it makes them bigger, makes them smaller. If I go back to a blank team, and let me get rid of welcome, and let's clear everything from that slide. Uh, reset it. Okay, now if I bring back in, just say one picture by itself. Again, I don't need to move anywhere special, I just leave it the way it is, and PowerPoint will, with the design ideas, give me ways I can use this picture. So they put in white boxes, they expand the picture, they put curved, curved lines in, make boxes transparent, add in shapes, so again, there is a lot you can do with design ideas and it will save you countless amount of hours from having to design a new presentation and a new array of ideas and suggestions. You can just go straight in, add your content and away you go. As we've seen before, if I wanted to add two pictures, so let's see if I add, I've got five pictures here, let's add all of these in. design ideas they may not be finding it maybe too many pictures here okay so there's four pictures added in there and the design ideas box never popped up straight away so let's get rid of that and get rid of that and I'll copy these five images back in now we know it didn't work last time but what I want to show you this time is how to get the design ideas box up in case it doesn't appear for you. So it hasn't appeared here. All I need to do is click on the design tab and then down at the back, you're gonna see a section for designer and you'll see design ideas. Click on that and that will then bring up the box. Now, we know we're missing one, so we need to take one away. It now generates, again, different ideas, adding in shapes, text boxes, etc. So it even takes text boxes away. And the beauty of this, it's not just for pictures, anything you add in. So if I create a new slide, and if I give this a name of mobile technology, oh, an extra M there, and then I go to insert, click on icons, and then let's get a mobile up. There's a mobile there, insert. So design ideas is now working with this icon, it's going to, edit my title, it will change the size of the shape, it can make shapes for the title, change its colour, depending on what you need, this can really really suit your presentation and just make it work without you having to do the work. Now another thing which we would like to add in, so let's say you're giving a presentation uh, to your financial director for the year or the financial director is giving a presentation and they want to add in some stats for the year, so stats. 
Now, I want to add in a chart, okay? So let's go for a line chart. Click on that, press OK. Now, that's a standard line chart. Pretty boring looking, as they usually are. But if I go into design, PowerPoint with design ideas will generate different styles, formats, layouts, so that I can work with this without having to do the work. So if we then go back to uh, design, and just choose a different theme for now. So again, it's showing me different, it'll change the colors, it'll change the width, it'll change the height. There is so much that design ideas can do and it's criminal not to use it. It will save you so much time and hassle creating a presentation. And you can see here, as I've changed pieces, it is, the team it has changed the design teams and it allows me to enter in different content and it improves the look and the feel of the presentation without having to do the work yourself. That's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video from powerpointtraining.online. If you would like to see some more videos or you'd like to see something in particular, please leave a comment down below. You can check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and we're also on www.powerpointtraining.online. Adios, guys. Thank you for watching our latest video on PowerPoint Training Online. If you liked it, don't, hit, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe for all the latest updates from PowerPoint Training Online.